Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. What are you doing? You eating popsicles already this morning? Huh? Oh shy little Willis. Harper gets shy like always. Bubba, you got your icicle? Huh? Yeah. You do? Is it good? Yeah. Did you get a yellow one today? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Him big boy. You oh you want to hold the camera? Yeah. And today it's a little chill video. I got some new things to show you guys. We got Fred over here just doing Fred things. He has uh, got a heck of an appetite on him. Yesterday we had an oops with Fred. He accidentally ate a piece of bacon in the morning. I don't know, it was probably 11, 12 o'clock, noon, somewhere around there. And I'll tell you what, by 4, it was probably 4 o'clock, 3.30, he was puking his brains out. I think he puked five times yesterday. So, I take back the comment on the, on the original video, on the last video, uh, stating, you know what, I just might feed Fred everything to get him fattened up, because I don't think that's the case. His stomach, what I've came to find here, y'all, his stomach is very delicate, obviously, but he cannot handle greasy, greasy food. There's just no way. So I've had a lot of comments, hey Bobby, you need to put bacon grease or hamburger grease in his food? I think if I did that, man, he'd be hurling for days. Your appetite's back though today, isn't it, bud? Isn't it? You love Fred, sissy? You do? We all love our new puppy. Fred is fitting in just fine. He's an awesome dog. He's putting a little bit of weight on him, as you can tell. The ribs are slowly starting to disappear, if you know what I mean. We're getting some weight back on him. I heard it'll probably take up to about three weeks to get all of his weight back on him, but He's doing great, and he's loving the new family. Holy smokes, Fred. You clean that bad boy up. That's a first. Hmm, I'll be darned. That's the first time he's ever ate a whole bowl of food. I mean, that bowl was full. Throwing up yesterday, probably, probably. He's, he's probably extremely hungry today. <laughs> Poor guy. But what I need to tell you guys, we have a new Ducks t-shirt of the month. It's this one right here. What the Ducks t-shirt of the month is, is you go to the DucksWaterfowl.com website, which I will link it down below in the description, and you subscribe. You sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month. What is it? Well, you get a one-off design Ducks t-shirt in the mail that is not on the website for sale, and you're actually getting them at a discount price, y'all. We have not had one complaint from any of our Ducks t-shirt of the month subscribees. Everybody seems to like them. I love them. My, uh, my May shirt, like you guys just seen, it ain't in the mail yet. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm just biting at the bit for it to show up here because these May shirts are slick. Every single month, they're one-off designs, like I said, and they are slick t-shirts. So if you guys want to pick one up, you guys want to sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, like I said, I'll link it down in the description below. As long as you stay signed up, the price will never change, and you will receive a one-off custom Ducks t-shirt in the mail once a month. Uh, just got done planting the garden here. Check it out. It's a little smaller than last year's, but we got one, two tomato plants, one, two, three, four, five pepper plants, and then we got two cucumber plants over yonder. I know it doesn't look like much yet. I'm telling you what, my gardens, I produce. A weird thing to bring up real quick. Uh, I've had a weird question, and it's been brought up probably, I don't know, watch out, sis. It has been brought up, I'm telling you, probably five times in the last week. The channel has really been hitting off. A lot of new viewers have been here, and I have got the same question over and over, and it is Bobby. What's your middle name, and is your real name Bobby Guy? And I'm like, well, yes, it's really Bobby Guy. And why do people want to know my middle name, man? I just figured that was funny, and I'll tell y'all. But the reason why y'all are here, it's not only because the kids, my lovely face, and Fred, it's because we got that new mallard mount, baby. That mallard that I shot up in Canada, oh ho ho, over last fall, we finally got it back. And it is amazing. Check this bad boy out. It mounts on the wall like that. Uh, Chris Henshaw over at Chautauqua Creek Taxidermy. Follow him on Facebook right here if you want to get a hold of him for any taxidermy, any birds. He, he used to do deer, and he said, you know what, Bobby, I'm not doing deer anymore. I had such a good time doing your mallard. That's all I'm going to do is ducks, geese, just birds. So, uh, yeah, look at this bad boy. This is the one I shot in Canada when me and the, the entire ducks crew went up there flaring everybody. And uh, we actually shot the pair. I wish I would have got 
the pair mounted the uh, Drake and the hen but he did such an amazing job on this mallard I mean it's just amazing awesome 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 job <laughs> duck duck is it pretty Bubba hold on be gentle looking at him but just an amazing bird I mean I really wish I would have mounted the hen as well with it and did kind of a pair thing but I have to say that I mean, he couldn't have done a better job on this thing. He even, he even asked me, he's like, hey man, how do you want it mounted? What do you want displayed, the belly or the back? And as you can see, the back on this old Drake is just beautiful. It has them gray linings around the center. Just an amazing job. So, Chris Henshaw, big shout out to Chris. Uh, get a hold of him on Facebook right here if you want to hit him up. He's doing waterfowl only now. 275 for ducks, I believe. So, not bad. He cranks them out as well. That's why he stopped doing deer. He said, Bobby, it just takes me too long for deer. I want to be cranking out customers' pieces. I like birds way more. I enjoy doing birds way more than deer. So, awesome job. Thank you, Chris. Chris actually did this for free because he's a subscriber. It's identical to the Fred situation. I mean, identical. A subscriber hit me up on Instagram, and he's like, hey man, I'm Chris, this is what I do, can I mount a bird for you? I mean, th this is the way the world works here, guys, is, is, is being nice to one another and, and helping each other out and, and just lending a hand. I mean, I obviously feel very, very, very proud, and, and, and I, I obviously feel very blessed to get, I mean, my dream duck mounted for free, but I have to say, Chris knocked it out of the park. Let's get him in the sun and look at him. Just an amazing job Chris did. I mean, awesome. Awesome job. So he does ducks for 275. He does big, big Canada honkers for, I believe, 450 because, yeah, you know how big a honker is. And then any other geese like snows or anything like that, the smaller lessers, uh, they are going to run 350. So, again, Chris did an amazing job. I cannot, I can't, I can't preach about his work enough. Just unreal. That bad boy is gonna look amazing down in the man cave. Gosh dang! But I actually have two adult snows that I'm gonna have him do as well. So be expecting that video. Uh, they are huge. I mean, massive adult snows. They're darn near almost as big as honkers. So. They will all three look good. I'm, every year, I'm going to make this a point. Every year, I'm going to get two or three birds mounted so we can showcase them, you know. It, it beats just cleaning everything and eating everything. I, I want to showcase some of the beautiful birds that I take. I mean, I hunt a bunch. So back in the day before YouTube was here and I had my normal 40-hour job, I never had the money to, to, to do this. So uh, big shout-out to Chris yet again. Well... Putting her up in the old man cave here. She's gonna look good down here. This is just the first of many to go in down here. The man cave, it's a very small room. This is where I do all my editing. So I think we have room for one, two, three, four, five, six. Once we get over seven, it's gonna get pretty packed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bodie. You guys just love Fred, don't you? You love your Fred, Bubba? I'm telling you what, Fred, he just fits right in. He just fits right in, don't you? Lots of love here for old Frederick. He loves his new home. You still hungry, boy? Here. There you go. But, like I've always said, thank you guys so much for your helpful tips on Fred. Getting him fattened back up. A lot of you have recommended Purina Pro Plan uh, Sport. Is that the one I'm supposed to get? Pretty sure. Uh, sounds like a pretty high-end expensive food but you know what whatever it takes to get him get him back up and running here and get that weight back on them bones he's been eating good but we got to do something different so we're gonna go and shut the video down here I'm gonna run to Petco and get that food and get him some other stuff but guys be expecting some epic videos to come like the old cow blind challenge oh yeah Jordan and I should be doing the cow blind starling challenge probably this week and we have an awesome epic idea for it and I mean it should be an insane pigeon hunt so again guys oh and the shotgun safety videos they're firing back up 
and I got a special treat <laughs> for the first video to fire them bad boys back up. So guys, be expecting some epic videos to come all week long for the next two weeks, really. I know you guys have really been enjoying the channel and I cannot thank you enough for all your support. When you smash that thumbs up button, it helps so much. I'm telling you, when, when these videos get over a thousand likes, it helps a bunch. And thank you guys for always, always dropping them helpful comments, positive vibes down below only, y'all. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when your boy uploads. Because like I said, we got some juicy, juicy videos on the way. But don't forget, subscribe for the Ducks t-shirt of the month. It's an awesome little deal. I'm always anxious to get my Ducks t-shirt in the mail. It's nice. It's the same time every month. Cody Allen, are you doing boy things in here? Yeah, you're playing with decoy steaks and Fred's water, just being a boy, huh? What are you doing, man? This is what little boys do right here. Make nothing but messes. <laughs> But thank you all for being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace.